Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try to keep the mind in a state of normalcy. In other words, you're right here. You're not jumping around. The mind's not too excited. It's not too depressed. It's just right. It's aware in the present moment, balanced in the present moment. The state of normalcy is an important treasure for the mind. It comes from observing the precepts. We get so that it's a normal thing not to kill or steal or break any of the precepts at all. That becomes the normal C for the mind. And that's one of the meanings of sila, or the word for virtue. The mind's attained a state of normalcy. Because when you do that, if that's your behavior, then you don't have anything to regret. You look back on your behavior for the day, and you haven't harmed anybody, you haven't harmed yourself. It's easy for the mind to stay in a state of balance that way. So think of the treasures of your virtues. And they are a treasure. The Buddha lists them as one of the noble treasures, or noble wealth. Abstaining from harming anybody at all. And as for generosity, that's when you go out of your way to do good for other people. The two go together. Both are forms of noble wealth. And they provide a good foundation for the meditation. They get the mind in the right, the right state, ready to meditate, no regrets, no remorse. You look back in the day, not only you haven't harmed anybody, but you also help people when you can. You begin to realize that you have wealth inside, because it's when you're generous that you realize you have a lot to give. It may not be in material things, but it can be of your time, you give your, your knowledge, you give your strength when to help somebody with their work, you give forgiveness. All of these things are forms of being generous, and they broaden the mind, they make it larger. The Buddha's analogy is of a, a river. You have a lump of salt and you throw it into the river, you don't make the water too salty to drink. If your mind is like a little cup of water, in other words, it's narrow and not generous, you throw that same lump of salt in and there's, you won't be able to drink the water at all. Now, the pains and hardships of life are a lot easier to take when the mind is broad. So a mind based on generosity, based on virtue, is the mind that is ready to meditate. And so as you go through the day, remind yourself, meditation is not just a little time out from your regular day. You look at what you've been doing in the day that could destroy the meditation or get in the way of the meditation when you sit, and you decide you've got to change your behavior. Bring it in line with the precepts. Think more of the principle of generosity. And you find the training of the mind goes a lot better because you're training it all around. It is a complete training, as the Buddha said. There, It's a triple training. There's virtue, concentration, discernment. And it's based on generosity. So to get the best results in training the mind, train it all around. And the results you get will then be all around. <laughs>